It's time now for the Sports Zone. Baseball in the capital city is less than five weeks away from returning. The West Virginia Power opening up the box office today for fans to come grab tickets for the upcoming season. For the first time, the Power faithful had the chance to return to the ballpark to secure their seats. The Power now play in the Southern Atlantic League of Professional Baseball. It's a big step for the organization as West Virginia opens the season at home on May 28th, hosting Southern Maryland in a four game series. We spoke with a pair of longtime fans who say they missed not being at Power Park last year and are happy to soon welcome baseball back into their lives. We uh, went through a period of just not knowing, and we missed a whole year last year with baseball being here. It is so good we're going to have baseball playing in Charleston, West Virginia again. We certainly did miss doing it last year, and it's, it's been a long, almost two years without, without baseball. So excited to be here, excited to get the tickets again, and excited to have baseball back. A reminder, we'll be live at Power Park on opening day, May 28th, with full coverage of the team's four-game set against Southern Maryland. If the Charleston Catholic boys basketball team is going to make a deep postseason run, they sure hope senior Aiden Satterfield continues to shoot the lights out. Satterfield joined the 1,000-point club in last night's sectional championship victory over Roan County. Satterfield was dominant, dropping 46 points in a 91-28 blowout win over the Raiders. While 46 points is impressive, the West Liberty commit was on fire from downtown. The future Hilltopper set a new single-game record for triples with 10, breaking the previous record held by former Irish star Robbie Williams, who hit nine threes. Satterfield and Charleston Catholic host Buffalo in the AA Regional 4 co-finals on Thursday night at 7. Satterfield is just the latest area high school basketball star to surpass the 1,000-point mark. Earlier this year, we saw Midland's Chandler Schmidt do it against Riverside in a win. That was back on March 16th. Then just a few days ago, Buffalo's Alec Hanshaw joined the 1K club in the Bison victory over Huntington St. Joe's. And last night, it was Satterfield who scored 46 in a sectional championship win for the Irish. A big congrats to all three players. The college volleyball season comes to a close tonight with the national championship match. Number two, Kentucky will try to earn its first ever title victory over number four, excuse me, rather over number four, Texas. Two seed Kentucky beat six seed Washington on Thursday, taking the match in four sets. Both UK and Texas enter the national title match, winners of their last seven matches. The match starts at eight and can be seen on ESPN2. We'll have more from this one tonight at 11. The Gold and Blue Nation Mountaineer Minute is brought to you by your local five-star Chevy dealers. The day finally here for WVU football fans. The annual Gold Blue Spring Game on display in Morgantown. Angelica Trenor explains why this year's game much different for the Mountaineers. The spring season has officially come to an end for WVU football. It wrapped up on Saturday at Milan Pushkar Stadium with the annual Gold Blue game. Neil Brown had three goals heading into the day. Have fun, provide an opportunity to compete, and play clean football. The head coach said his team accomplished it all. Now, it was not your typical spring game format. There were live scrimmage portions, but mostly competition drills. And during the quarterback challenge, a special guest joined Jared Dagey and Garrett Green. WVU hoops forward and former QB himself, Deuce McBride. Deuce said, I just got to have a jersey. A jersey with my name on it. So I said, well, we can we can work that out. And I figured the fans would, would enjoy it, and uh, and they did. He, he was a great sport about it. Now, earlier this week, Brown received a two-year contract extension, locking him in as a head coach through 2026. I be really believe our program's on an upward trajectory. I like this team that we have right now. I think the staff here and our players, I think the extension is, a, is, is, is a, probably as much about them than me. Uh, is going to allow us to build what we want to do here, which is build a championship program that everyone can be proud of. We've got everything you could possibly need from the Gold Blue Spring Game over at our website, goldandbluenation.com. And that's also where you can follow along with the action as Game 2 is underway in Manhattan, Kansas, between WVU Baseball and Kansas State. That's the latest on the Mountaineers here in Morgantown. I'm Angelica Trenone. That'll do it for sports tonight here on 13 News at 6. Let's go back to the desk with Haley and Joe. All right, thank you, Jake. And a pretty dreary day today, but warm.